Hey, everybody. I hope you guys are all doing okay. Welcome back to another episode of Ali Solves. Now, I know it's been a long time since my last episode. The last one was the one where we went from 899 to 900. I meant to do more videos on this, but I just got really busy with work and then really busy recording other things for my channel. And then at some point, I just wanted to take some time off. So, you know, and then I kept being indecisive about like what exactly I wanted to record. Did I want to do like a random Sunday, a random Saturday or a Thursday? Eventually, when it got past, uh, when the streak went past 930, I was like, you know what, let's just wait and let's do uh, something special for episode 950. So that is what we are going to be doing today. And uh, yeah, we're going to be getting into a Friday crossword. And, you know, I'm not going to try and string you along with any fake suspense, fake drama kind of thing. This is a Friday crossword. I, I'm i not going to be like, ooh, are we going to get 950? No, with <laughs> now that I'm 949... Uh, puzzles into this streak, I'm pretty confident that a Friday crossword is not going to be the thing that ends my streak, right? It might be hubris, it might be arrogance, but I'm I'm calling it right now. This is going to be episode 950. You're not going to be watching this thinking, is, may, is he going to maybe not do it? No, it's, it's never in doubt. Of course, now that I've said this, it's possible that this is going to take me an embarrassingly long amount of time. Maybe I'll even get stuck in some parts and I'll end up regretting <laughs> all the uh, trash talk I'm doing right now. But honestly, look, I'm, uh, I'm pretty confident that we're going to do this. But just give me one moment. I just had to get my keyboard out, my nice... Clickety clackety USB keyboard. I'm not sure how much uh, of it, of the clickety clackettiness you'll be listening to because I've got a. I'm trying out a noise suppression filter and it. Well, I mean, it keeps out noise. I'm not sure how it profiles the uh, uh, clickety clackety uh, keyboard clicks. I guess we'll. I'll I'll figure it out when I'm listening to the uh, audio back when I'm reviewing the video later on. But anyway, I think that's enough preamble. Let's jump in and start this Friday crossword, which is by a couple of constructors. Let me. It's so hard to read because of how light the font is. Taylor Johnson and. Raphael Musa. All right, should be fun. Pretty Little Liars author Shepard. Oh, uh, uh, already something I don't know, but perhaps the uh, crosses are going to help us. I'm pretty sure the sign of 180 degrees is zero. Takeoff announcement could be what's someone says when they're leaving. I think, you know, the question mark means this is kind of like a Pun, a play on words. Okay. Future me, don't forget this. I think this is going to be note to self. Ken Ken entries. Uh, this is a game, I think. B but I know nothing about it. So I don't know what the... The entries might be numbers. In which case, it's N-O-S. Trap for the unwary. Organ piece... Could be, hmm, I don't know. Minos or Midas? I mean, they're both kings, a ruler? Maybe. Maybe, and uh, let's, ooh, let's see this. Member of La Famille. I think that's French. So let's see, what are the, there's, 
mère, père, frère, sœur. Mm. Or maybe it's a, it's the French word for relative, which uh, I can't remember what it was. Mm. Anyway, let's uh, let's take a look at this. Gave a once over. Could be eyed up. Warm up pieces, uh, etudes, uh, like piano practice things. Famed recipient of a what now? A lesser blessing? A, oh, okay. I think this is a uh, biblical thing. Esau, I think. Uh, like he he was mad because his brother got more stuff, something like that. Watch in a way. Hmm. Makes as a putt is gonna be sinks. Now watch oh like set like pet sitting could be struggles could be toils where Viet Jet Air is headquartered probably uh Hanoi Vietnam I'm guessing I mean it would have to be right any could be ideas I mean I'm gonna go with that. Excuse me, winter forecast is likely to be sleet. Cubism inspired style could be deco. I think I'm gonna um tentatively go with that. Oh, there's gonna be something kidding for real. Oh, it's could be. Could be are you kidding me? Excuse me, I'm nursing a minor cold right now. Ooh, oh, I think this has got to be... Yeah, I've got to, something run. I have to run. I think this is this got to be stop, and this probably is numbers. Mem... Oh, I have to run. Oh, enfant. Right, right, it's a child. Okay, got it. Begrudging Ascent. Yeah, something. How firm a foundation? Sounds like a hymn, I want to say. You enough is going to be TMI. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, Horny Toad. Okay. Sphere is going to be Arena? Area? Oral Vaccine Target? I don't know. Am I wrong about this? It's not. Oh, a toad isn't a reptile. What are you? What are you? What are you doing, Ali? You're embarrassing yourself after acting like you were gonna walk all over this puzzle, and now you're making. Okay. So let's see. Horny. God, it's just so unfortunate to have this unfinished because now all we have. <laughs> You just have the left side of the answer. Okay, let's let's just uh, let's let's concentrate. Sphere could be arena, rocked in a way. Mm. What? Holly genus. Okay, so I think holly is a kind of plant. Some Bundestag votes are going to be nines. I think that's how you spell it. I mean, it's unlikely you'd have two eyes in a row anyway. Fan base added to the OED in 2023. Swifties gotta be, right? Is, is, is it? it? A... Wait, hang on. Is it is it Horny Toad after all? Oh, I should have... Oh, God, what am I doing? I'm... I was right. I didn't read the clue carefully enough. Despite its name is actually a lizard. So there's a hint that its name is misleading. And I had... Sure, I guess. Well, let's let's think about this. Begrudging Ascent is going to be, yeah, fine. And this is going to be Arena. And then what's this? Rocked in a way... War, right? Yeah, that's kind of a slang term, I guess. Planned 
Parenthood offering informally. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to make a lot more sense when you get it. Holy, Holly genus. Oh, this has got to be polio. What, what, what are you doing? Polio. Oh, God. What? Let's look at this. High end hotel amenities got to be spas. Sex ed. I guess Ilex is a is a thing. It must be. Cosmetics brand. Owned by Este. I, I just realized I don't even know how to pronounce the second. Is it louder or loud? Uh, whatever. You know, let's just leave it. Jazz. Trumpeter Jones. Oh, hmm. I feel like I'll know this when I get. When I get the crosses, I'll be like, oh yeah, that that guy. Um, some announcements from the feds has got to be rate hikes. I had a few... Bit of salty languages. Ahoy there is going to be a, like a, a salty language they're talking about, like something a sailor would say. And I, I think this is correct. Avida? Is that a... Thing. I, I mean, we'll find out. Uh, the flyers, no clue. No clue. Uh, cry of fear is going to be eek, because this has got to be rate hikes. And stage group often dressed in black. Hmm. We'll, we'll, we'll look at that. Half a what now? Half a half bushel. Sure, whatever. TikTok creator is um Are we talking about like the, the person who founded the company or Hmm. Let's uh Oh it could oh this has gotta be the crew. Right? Yeah, it's gotta be the crew. Half a half bushel is, I think, Peck is one of those weird, like, uh, like, fantasy units <laughs> that some people use because they hate uh, the metric system. TikTok creator, of, uh, I, I think this probably is somebody's name. It's any one's guess could. Wait a second. Is that... Is that like a... Is this the name of a song? Or am I... Because I know an integral can compute area. Oof. Yeah, I... There's certain pop culture things that I just don't know anything. Is that a... Yeah, I, have, I have no idea. No. Soldier of Sauron. There's got to be an orc. This, this is probably who knows. Breezed by. has got to be blue by. Meeting, oh, meeting, what? Meeting, greet, what? That's, uh, something about that clue is really freaking me out. Antagonist, okay, this is gonna be a Nemo? What? No, what am I talking about? Nero? Well, you know, hang on, hang on. Let, let's take a look at this. Well behaved sort, afflictions. Uh, so this is probably going to be sci-fi. This is probably going to be ills. Well-behaved is going to be... Model? I don't know. Hang on. Spice derived from the inner... This is going to be... Cinnamon? Angel. Oh, Iago. My old friend. Oh, meeting greeting is going to be... Hi, all... Make official shake on it. Fighting combat. Infinite infinitesimal. Teensy? Teeny? Tiny? Let's try this. 
speak decisively. It, I mean, it could be spelled like this or like this. Let's see. Forest in a metaphor. Let's leave this. Uh... Oh, color of a proverbial, proverbial French beast. Probably noir. Try to get the upper hand. You gotta be arm wrestle. And what's this? Like the coats of many terriers. No idea. I still don't know about this. Uh, Chi Chi? What? No idea. Comfort? It's probably gonna be soothe. What? Yeah, let's let's leave that for now. Like some broken records. Let's let's leave that. Three roaming residents of Japan's Nara Park is this gonna be an S? Wire bottle spec. Hmm. No clue. Debated. Let's see. Comedian who wrote unre Unreliable Narrator. I don't know this person either. Do a certain v veterinary job. It's got to be spay. Makeup ingredient. It's going to be DNA. Makeup. That's. I'm completely sure that's the, the pun. Debated is probably going to be in dispute. Like... Sleet has got to be icy. And just like that has got to be snap. Oh, na Nancy something? The average person will shed at least... One... It's going to be a lash, right? Hmm, hmm, this is kind of tough. I like the lots of many terriers. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Like some Olympic? No. So let's let's look at this comfort. Solace. Let's take a look at this. Forest in a metaphor. If big. What? Or let's try big picture, right? You like seeing the forest for the trees. Could it be bees? A deer, maybe. Let's look at this. Broken records, like literal broken records, could be warped. And this is deer. Wine bottles. Oh, year. Oh, I was. I was thinking it was literally some, you know, like the dimensions of the bottle. Okay, so 15, 15, and we've solved that puzzle. And indeed, we have a 90 day streak before I do anything else. Let me take a screenshot. Um, uh, yeah, you know what, I'll just... Take a screenshot of the whole thing. And, uh, we'll, uh, we'll now take a look. Actually, before we admire the puzzle, let's go back to the games and let's get the uh, mini done. And then we'll take a look at the puzzle. Because I like to do the mini after I do the big one. Good cop, bad cop. Oh god, I don't like... These ones are so hard to parse. 
pick up. Oh my, come on, give me something. For tall, this is gonna be an oasis. Uh, Biden's title. Prez. Uh, uh, people spell it like that. I think this is Ortiz. Oh God, come on, hang on a second. Sense. Oh, okay. Scent. Uh, yeah, yeah it's, I guess it's a homophone. Doramifa soul, not as much less. Oh god. Uh, what here? And now we're done. Now we can go back to uh, the puzzle and let's take a look. This is a Pretty, pretty fun puzzle by Taylor Johnson and Raphael Musa. Uh, were there any uh, tricky things? This was the hardest thing, just because I haven't heard of this person, and it was a very long name, which obviously you're going to struggle with if you just don't know anything about it, because names can be just about anything. It can be any combination, especially because sometimes a person can have like it can be multiple names right it could be a three named person uh, not 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 in this case necessarily but you know sometimes they can be like uh like oh, okay this is kind of a um i, I was going to say like, like John Wayne Gacy like they say serial killer gacy and the uh, blank would be John Wayne, but that's a kind of a grim, grim example. But there are other people like that where you wouldn't necessarily save yourself by just thinking of, oh, what would, what would a name sound like? Because is it one name that's filling all of these blanks or multiple names? So that's a that's a complicated thing. Any anyway, that's just me going into detail for why I struggle with names, and I'm sure lots of people do, names of places, names of things, just because the ordinary, the ordinary rules that you use to kind of logic your way through don't necessarily apply just because names kind of have their own rules, or they don't obey the rules of words and, you know, things. Like with this, right? We use logic, right? We... Uh, got the first part and then I, I put in toad and then I'm like, oh, it's a reptile, it's not a toad. And then I actually read the clue and then we put uh, toad back in. Um, and even with some of the, uh, like, the question mark clues, you know, you can you can use logic and be like, what what could it be based on what we've been told? But yeah, this part of the puzzle definitely uh, a bit of a struggle. The rest of it, though, I thought went uh, went quite well. And uh, with that done, we are now at a streak of nine hundred and fifty. That means uh, that means fifty more to go. Um, but definitely before that, I'm gonna do at least at least one more episode of the series before we are in the uh, the final stretch. If nothing else, just to get myself warmed up. And uh, other than that, is there anything, man? Like this is. It's not the quickest that I've ever solved a Friday, but it does feel like a bit of a quick video. Although at 24 minutes. I think this is enough to call it a video, but yeah, I guess all I'm going to say is uh, thank you so much for watching. It's been a, it was fun. I talked a lot of, uh, I talked a big game at the uh, start of the video and then we got in and then it seemed like I was breezing through and then we got to the southeast corner and it was a, it, I, I mean, I never felt like, ooh, I'm going to be stuck forever. I was like, yeah, we just need to make a small breakthrough and then we'll get through it. And, uh, yep, yeah, it, uh, it, it was, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm glad it came together uh, the way it did. But yeah, I think that, 
that's gonna be all for this one yeah so uh uh yeah once again thank you so much for watching hope you had a good time hope you enjoyed yourselves if you've been solving the, the uh, crossword yourself hope uh, you've had a good time if, you, if you've got a streak going i hope your streak goes strong and most of all remember to have a good time and with that said uh that's all for this one. I hope to see you in the next episode as well, which hopefully I'm going to do sooner rather than later. But hope to see you in the next one. And until then, take care.